many of us are focused on bodily sickness and we have forgotten there is financial sickness if your body is okay and your pocket is dry you are sick you don't have mal malaria you have moneria moneria welcome my cherished viewers to the Ken channel there is a place where we inspire we inform we instruct concerning the area of your spiritual life your moral life and your financial life in this video the apostle johnson Sulema explained the types of sickness he said number one the first type of sickness is being broke he said that being broke is a sickness he said if you are broke then you are sick he said that many people are not suffering from malaria many people are suffering from malaria which is the lack of money he also explained that stroke is when half part of your body is not working and broke is when every part of your body is not working the next type of sickness he spoke about is mental sickness and the third type of sickness he spoke about is emotional sickness this video is going to bless you to know the type of sickness and avoid this sickness don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to watch the full video next to this one when people are thinking forward you are thinking backward there are people when they act you will know mentally they are not okay there is mental sickness unproductive, unproductive somebody is 40 years 45 he has no plan for his life 45 what is he doing See, i want to travel out at 45 at 45 some of your mates are returning from traveling out they are returning back to their country to invest at 45 all you have about is your passport with hopes many of us are focused on bodily sickness and we have forgotten there is financial sickness if your body is okay and your pocket is dry you are sick you don't have mal malaria you have moneria moneria financial attack is sickness because poverty can actually lead you into acquiring bodily afflictions there's something that is called chemical imbalance when you don't eat balanced diet i told you a bank in the morning a bank in the afternoon a bank for for three weeks when you fall sick it's not the devil it's chemical imbalance when there are many who are financially sick they are broke sir being broke is as equal with having stroke being broke is as is as equal with having stroke when a man has stroke a part of him doesn't function when a man is broke, the whole part of him doesn't function. Am I talking to somebody here? There is mental sickness. When people are thinking forward, you are thinking backward. There are people, when they act, you will know mentally they are not okay. There is mental sickness. Unproductive. unproductive. Somebody is 40 years, 45. He has no plan for his life. 45. What is he doing? See, I want to travel out. At 45. At 45, some of your mates are returning from traveling out. They are returning back to their country to invest. At 45, all you have about is your passport with hopes of traveling out. You started dressing like those who have traveled out. At 45. You have not left the country, but you have an earring in your ear. I mean, it's mental sickness. Full grown man, matured boy, will perm his hair and say he's, he's behaving like an American. I told you, when you perm hair, how do you sleep? You wear shower cap. Man, full man, wear a shower cap. Some people act, you just see an act of irresponsibility. A girl that 
that a man should see and desire. She's going out, she reveals everything. Short skirt, short this, and it's revealing. That's a sick person. You are not well. Because if you are well, you will know that your appearance is not attractive, it's irritating. It's irritating. Everything is skimpy, everything is short. Once people just see you, then they, they can see everything. You look like revelation. Revelation. And you think you are okay. You are not okay. Or you think you are being flashy. Am I communicating here? Your mates are taking as women are taking over, are taking over territories, are becoming prime ministers. There are who is, who is, who is the head of New Zealand? New Zealand, a lady, one of the women, the top of uh, affairs in Australia, a lady. What's her name again? I'm trying to remember her name. And that president or vice president, a lady. We have Margaret Thatcher was a lady. They call that iron lady. It is it is cheap to dress nasty. It is cheap. It is tasky to make impact. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? People are taking over territories, and you are you are you, you are a slave queen. You are a slave queen. That's your achievement. That you are a slave queen. You don't slay people. You are slaying yourself. So that is somebody who is mentally daft. <clears throat> No, what does cigarettes do for anybody now? Somebody, this world is hot enough. This world is hot enough. Somebody now carries something and now putting fire inside the system. With the fire already happening around different nations. People are looking for how to cool themselves down. You, you carry full fire. And you inhale it into your system. You, I mean, somebody inhales fire and says it helps him to cool down. No, fire. What is hot helps you. You see mental problem. And to them, say no, it helps me to cool down. I asked a young man in America, no, in London. I said, why do you smoke? He said, because of the weather. I said, drink tea. Get hot coffee. You don't. You are not smoking because of the weather. You are smoking because you are addicted. You are addicted. It's a spirit. Am I communicating here? It's a spirit. That is sickness. There are people, that is their problem. Some are emotionally sick. Looking for love everywhere. Any confused person can confuse them. Because emotionally they have a vacuum. They don't love themselves. Sir, you can never find love until you love yourself. Love yourself! love yourself emotionally sick many are emotionally sick they are emotionally sick they desire every good thing they see they go after every good thing they see how can somebody I'm sorry I don't, I don't mean to, to hit on anyone or to be insensitive but I'm preaching and sometimes when you are preaching um, you can say some things that you don't mean but they are important for explanation how can somebody have four different children for four different fathers no 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 no. it happens no my own is the first one was a mistake second one mistake third one eh. fourth one i don't know so you just keep making mistakes like that with your eyes open something is wrong with your emotions something is wrong with you Am I talking to somebody here? Something's wrong with you. So, but whatever people are sick, you must understand that sickness is not only bodily infirmity, it's in all ramifications. This man was there for years and Jesus asked him, he said, sir, you have been looking for healing, but I have come for your wholeness. That yet, yes, his mates got married, he wasn't married. That yet, yes, his mates have gotten advancement. And that is why the Bible said there was a man by the gates of beautiful in Acts chapter 3. When Peter and John saw him, and they said, silver and gold, we have none but such as we have. We give unto you in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. And when he stood up, the man didn't walk. He leaped. That's how he was going. They say, you walk. You have never walked before.
before he said no if i start walking when will i catch up with those who have gone ahead of me i don't want to walk i want to leap i want to jump because there's somebody who has gone ahead of me mm. he got married i'm still here if i start counting steps when will i catch up with him oh he got married about 10 years ago he has four children i need to leap into my own wedding so that at one go my wife will deliver quadruplets so that i can recover all he began to leap someone under the sound of my voice while others are walking i see you leaping while others are walking i see you leaping by the power of the holy ghost i see you leaping i see you leaping if your amen is louder tell the blessing Amen. God wants you whole. God does not just want you well. God wants you whole. He doesn't just want your body healed. He wants your finances healed. Being whole is experiencing rest all around. Being whole is experiencing ease all around. God wants you whole. There is a power that's about to hit somebody here. And the power of wholeness. There is a power that's about to hit somebody here. It's a power of recovery. It's a power that will make you bounce back. Financially, you will bounce back. Materially, you will bounce back. Maritally, you will bounce back. Spiritually, you will bounce back. Mentally, you will bounce back. If you are the one I'm talking to, let your amen be louder. Hey. Shout fire, fire, fire. Somebody shout fire, fire, fire. Somebody shout fire, yeah, 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 yeah. God is a healer. Jesus said, He gave them power. He said, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. The ministry of Christ was a ministry of power. And one of the things He went about doing after the order of Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, Acts 10 38, one of the things Jesus went about doing was healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Once you hold, will thou? Jesus said, The problem now is not if the power is available. The issue now is that do you want it? Can you imagine that? It was not telling the man, um, How do we handle your issue now? How do we handle the issue of your health? He said, No. Will thou be made whole? Healing is real. Thank you for watching the video to this file for any new uh, champion, holy champions, start FH for finish. I have a book for you in the description entitled The Money Secret. This book is going to teach you how to make money in the 21st century. If you want this book, get this book on Amazon or click the link. Send your money to the mobile money number in the description and I'll forward to you the soft copy or the hard copy anywhere you find yourself. Always remember that winners never quit and quitters never win. Yes. Okay. How many of you in this ministry, honestly, I've seen people you knew. I'm not saying this, somebody who came from somewhere, you knew that we are sick, any kind of affliction, and you, you saw them healed here. Raise your hand. We have countless. You know them. A young man, one of my sons, was telling me, he said, Papa, a woman who you prayed for, about 1999, who was stone blind. For about 10 years. He said, I know what now. She's still selling the market. Her eyes are still clear. He said, sir, I can count to you at least 10 to 12 people. I've seen God do wonders through you that I know till date. When I'm passing them, I point to people. I say, you see this person? He was crippled. You see this one? They brought him on a wheelchair in Benin in 2003. The apostle prayed. He's walking till date. So it, it is real. This is not gimmick. It's not make-believe. It's nobody. It's too real to be faked. What God is asking you will thou it's not a problem of the sickness it's do you want to be whole a lady came and said she, she was going for a goiter you know goiter swollen throat a goiter operation so she came to the office and said dad I want you to pray for me so that it will be successful as it was successful it's operation as your operation so which do you want successful operation or healing and she was looking he said, I've already paid, I've already booked. I said, you just wasted your money. Do you want to be well? He said, yes. I laid hands. from Ghana. I laid hands. And I started praying in tongues. As I was praying in tongues, I noticed that something had reduced. She fell under the power. She stood up, 
started screaming the whole place neck flattened we saw somebody in this church we saw two children here that were born without eyeballs right without i'm not saying they were blind no eyeballs they were born with smooth face and right with the camera on them we saw eyes being created will thou be made whole it's a question he's asking i was preaching sometime in sierra leone and the lord said to me tell people to close their eyes i said everybody close your eyes and um the lord said tell them to still close their eyes ah I said please make sure your eyes are shut the lord said tell them again to still close their eyes some are still watching whoa and when you insist on that kind of thing too much people think you want to do something that's why you want their eyes but trust me the cameraman cannot close his eyes now because it's on camera and there was a young man at the back one of his hand was stiff inside this this one was down this one was like this he had carried it like that since he was three the hand had been like that and when the power of God hit the place as our eyes were closed, we heard him screaming from behind. The hand had grown out. Now, hold on. There was a problem. The hand, when he came out, was testifying. He tried to measure it. The one that grew out was longer than the other one. So, I said, Papa, stop. wait, 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 wait. This one is longer. I said, what? He said, take it back. Take it back. Let it be equal. Am I the one that took it out before? I told myself, I'm not the one that took it out. Go back and cry to the same Jesus. The next day came back we measured it equal a woman was screaming out i was about to end the service about to end the service i preached and i was getting tired and the woman screamed and asked the daughter i said let's close thank god for what god has done she was blind with her cane she tapped the daughter i said they won't close she said yes he said, well i still blind now i can't see people were healed for three days i felt that was okay but god was not done he's always ready to heal is always ready to heal about to round up and i said let's round up and pray and she screamed round up when i want close jesus open my eye jesus open my eye now i was getting worried so i told the ushers i said please that woman Shh, cover cover her mouth cover her mouth and they went there she was throwing her cane the cage was so nobody wanted to come close because you come close he hit you jesus open my eye i was getting offended i said this kind of fine program that we ended well with the move of god this lady wants to spoil the meeting you know that kind of meeting people will go and say ah god move oh but that woman i wish she was healed i understand how people think so i said this lady just came from nowhere to spoil this program what kind of thing is this and i was getting offended i, I told someone said, you go there close her mouth let her come down she's distracting us jesus open my eye jesus open my eye all of a sudden a cane dropped she turned to the daughter touched her nose he said i did see you i did see you the next thing she turned i did see people i did see people i did see people guess what i took the mic i said yes i told you 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 <laughs> I said I told you that God will heal I told you will thou be made whole 